Hello everyone. Today we are going to go over uh, customizing a PLC. What exactly is a PLC? A PLC is a programmable logic control. Um, on a CNC machine, it is pretty much the component that actually turns on outputs and it's looking at various states of inputs. Um, it could be used as far as, let's say, like using a home switch to home and access. Um, a tool changer would require uh, turning on possibly carousels or a swing arm. Perhaps if the machine has a vacuum. I just dealt with someone that was trying to incorporate a robotic arm. So we needed a custom PLC program to tell the robotic arm to start moving. Um, but yes, so on a PLC, you've got essentially two sides to it. you got the hardware side and the software side. Hardware side is the actual PCB or the component that is physically turning on relay outputs or perhaps providing an analog output signal to something. Uh, it also ends up taking, well, like I was saying before, all your inputs. You can have uh, various multiple sensors, uh, limit switches, home switches, proximity sensors. Uh, you can even have analog inputs. I've seen a couple of systems that actually had a thermocouple where uh, it was providing like an analog uh, DC voltage to the control. Now, on the software side, that is what's taking all that information based on the state of various inputs and possibly other memory bits and then telling the outputs to turn on. Okay? Now, Whenever you install the Centroid software, you're either going to install the mill or the lathe, and I, you see the icons here on both. Uh, if you install the mill, you're going to end up having a directory that's called CNCM. And if you install the lathe software, you're going to have a directory called CNCT. These directories can be found in the main C directory. So you just open up a web browser, I'm sorry, a file explorer, and just double click on C, and you'll end up seeing CNCM for the mill and CNCT for the lathe, okay? And once you end up going into, let's say, for example, we go inside the CNCM directory, this is a directory that has all the files associated uh, with your actual CNC12 software, as far as all your configuration files, your parameter files, anything related to jobs, uh, your programs, unlocks, uh, pretty much anything that's associated with the Centroid software, will be in this directory, okay? Now, on the software side of the PLC, there's essentially two big files that are concerned with it. First is the .src file. This is your actual source code. This is what contains the logic that's controlling uh, the I.O. on the system. Once that source code is complete, you would then compile it and then when you compile it, that'll generate a .plc program. Now, the PLC program to, that gets sent down to the control is actually in a name called mpu.plc. This is very important because if when you go to compile the SRC file, which we will go over later on, you need to make sure that you compile it into the mpu.plc. If you do not, then when the software starts, it will not send the appro or the correct file down to the hardware to control your I/O. Okay. So, the going back to the SRC, that is just a simply ASCII text file. All right. Any text editor will end up opening up. I personally love using Notepad++. Notepad++ is a very powerful tool. Now, let's say when you first get the thing, as you can see here, this icon has it to where it's really not associating uh, that .src file with anything. So if I try to double click it, I would get a message that says, how do you want to open this file? All you would end up doing is click on more apps and find the Notepad++. Say OK. And then it'll actually open up in Notepad++. Let's say, for instance, you don't have Notepad++ uh, installed on your PC. This is, like I said before, this is a very powerful tool. I would recommend installing it because uh, it would make it so much easier. The other thing to notice is that 
Uh, the file extensions for the source code, we have it as a .src. It doesn't really have to be a .src. It could be like a .txt file. But to make things simple and easier and conform to like an actual standard, I recommend using a .src as the file extension.